In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a sheet so that you can determine when the best times to take off expenses from your pay. So here I have a sheet and it just has um, my list of uh, expenses. And um, then on this on this one here, I have my salary. Let's say it's, so it's $800 weekly. Um, and my first pay period is the 1st of February. Now, also I have options. I can be, um, I can drop this down. I can be weekly, bi-weekly or bi-monthly. So let's go to, um, so this is all set up and let's go to the paydays on the second sheet. And so I've just copied this in here, but you can set it up to be linked if you like, or put it in the code, but I just put it, copied it in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm um, trying to figure out for the year. So I'm clicking paydays and what it's done is it's added in all my paydays for the year every week, right? And so here we have our total of all our income. And now what I do is I click my expenses. And then it goes and puts in your expenses in between your pay periods. And so let's go back up to the top. So now you can see that at the top, um, at about the 12th of February, you start going into the negative. So, you know, there's lots of things that you can't play around with when they come off your account. But um, like for rent and um, and mortgage, that's going to probably come out automatically on one day. But groceries, groceries, you put $600 away a month. So let's move that down. Right now it's coming out on the 6th. And so if we put have our money put away for groceries, if we have it uh, towards the end of the month, let's go to the 24th. Maybe we can get rid of these negative in the totals here. So we're going to change our groceries from the 6th to the 24th. So let's clear here. And what I've done basically is I just recorded a macro by just deleting the fields. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go to groceries and we're going to change it to the 24th. And so where it says 6 right now, which is the date that it's coming off, I'm going to change it to the 24th. Now, you don't need to do this, but it works far more efficiently. So I'm just going to select all of these and I'm going to um, go to the data tab and I'm going to sort and I'm going to sort and I'm going to sort by date, uh, smallest to largest. And so I'll say, OK, fine. And there you go. OK, so now let's go back. And let's run payday again. We're still on the weekly. And it's growing back at the top and let's do expenses. All right. So now we can see that um, we're in better shape. We just have to play around with some other things here to, to do it. Now, I'll, I'll just show you. So this is just weekly, but we could do um, we'll clear this and we'll go we'll go and we'll change this from um, let's make it uh, let's say $1,300. And we're going to make it um, bi-weekly. Okay, and then we'll go the paydays and we'll go payday. And you see you'll get 26 of these. And now let's put the expenses in for this. So let's scroll back up the top. And he's he's got to play around with stuff here too because um, once again we have negative and then if you put the bills later in the month you'd probably be all right so let's clear this again and let's go and let's change it to um bi-monthly so the first and the 15th is the way i've done, done that and so i'm going to go um payday so we'll get 24 of those and we're going to put expenses And he still doesn't have enough to get through here. Okay, so let me show you the code. So my first little macro is called payday. And basically what I've done is I've done a case select and I say if it's weekly, then what you're gonna do is you're gonna um, add seven, seven days to the date that you have on your first payday. And then um, it's for the bi-weekly, I'm saying put another date in that's 14 days. And then for bi-monthly, I go, um, 
I I'm looking for the first and and the fifteenth dates, and that's when you put the paydays in. So let me show you the expenses macro. Now on this one, we um, we've declared a few values here, but the big ones is we have pay date and pay date two, and they're defined as dates. Um, and date due is when the the bill is due, and that's defined as a date as well. And so. Um, we're, um, we're, we're doing this, um, we're doing a do while loop and while we still have something, well, it's not blank in, in uh, sheet two. And so now what we're going to do is we're de defining the, uh, the pay days and the pay, pay day two. So the values that are in that uh, cell, so I've defined my, uh, my day as pay day, my month, it, my day as day of pay date, my month as month of pay date, and my year as year of pay date. And so pay date serial number is my uh, my year, my month, my day. And I do exactly the same thing for pay date too, which is the when you're in between the first pay date and the second pay date when you're putting these these invoice or these invoices in there. And so now I do a loop, and I do a loop for that between S, which is the, your expenses on sheet one to last row. And so you can put as many expenses in, in there as you like. And then I say, if um, if due date is greater than or equal to pay date, then you, and then you go there and then if due date is greater than pay date two, then go to ND and then go to the next row. And so then you enter all of these in, in between there. And that's how you, you're able to create um, your running total with all of the all of the, the invoices in there. I will, of course, include the code in the description of my video. Please subscribe.